Are we closer to the big one? Tonight, hear what experts say yesterday's earthquake has done to our chances of future earthquakes. Plus, it don't even make sense that we even talking about this because it is a universal right. Everybody has the right to have a roof over their head. One of the Bay Area's biggest issues, housing, is on the ballot in Oakland. New at 6, a look at both sides of Measure B. Also ahead. It called itself America's most unusual nightclub. Tonight, we'll take you back to this piece of San Francisco history with a performer who once called their stage home. Building a better Bay Area. Moving forward, finding solutions. This is ABC 7 News. Lights swayed around the Bay Area yesterday when an earthquake hit. If it had been bigger, the impact would have been much worse. And now we could be at greater risk. Good evening, I'm Karina Nova. And I'm Dan Ashley. Thanks for joining us. So yesterday's quake was the biggest in the Bay Area since the 2014 Napa quake. Now you see Berkeley seismologists say it increases the probability of other larger earthquakes. Could they be as bad as 1989's Loma Prieta? Well, that was on the San Andreas Fault. Yesterday's quake was also was actually on the Calaveras Fault, and that hadn't had a major earthquake since 1984 when a magnitude 6.2 rocked the Bay Area, doing $10 million in damage. And the Calaveras Fault is the most active fault in the Bay Area, as we know, Dan. That's true. Uh, ABC 7 News reporter Ryan Curry looks at what activity all this means for the rest of us. Tonight, the ABC 7 News I team is on the pandemic. Oh, what a mess. Dan Noyes follows a tip and finds more than a million dollars worth of personal protective equipment getting ruined in the rain. He's asking, Who's responsible for this? How long has that been happening? It's been for about the past three to four weeks that we've been seeing this because no one can find a rapid test anywhere. Stephanie Sierra looking into the ramifications of people overwhelming emergency rooms looking for COVID tests. A continuing beam of, of scammers taking advantage of certain situations. A real test, but a fake result. You can buy them online, but Melanie Woodrow finds this fraud could have international implications. Building a better Bay Area. Moving forward, finding solutions. This is ABC 7 News. San Mateo County workers are scrambling to clean up a mess uncovered by the ABC 7 News I team. Several million dollars worth of precious PPE purchased with your tax dollars left outside in the rain. Mm. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ama Dates. And I'm Dan Ashley. Our Dan Noyes begins our I-Team coverage tonight with a story you'll see only on 7. He is in the newsroom. Dan, what a picture that is. Well, Dan and Ama, we all know how important masks and hospital gowns and other protective gear are as the pandemic surges. This seems hard to believe, though, but top county officials didn't know that thousands of boxes of PPE were moved outside and forgotten for months until I told them. Two days to 90 days. We are almost at the end of a short term experiment in San Francisco's Tenderloin and tonight we're seeing results. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Ama Date and I'm Dan Ashley. We talk about building a better Bay Area and this is an example of what we mean. Back in December, San Francisco Mayor London Breed considered the homelessness and drug situation in the Tenderloin so critical that she imposed a 90 day state of emergency. Too many people are dying in this city. Too many people are sprawled out all over our streets. And now we have a plan to address it. That 90 days is almost up. So what are the results? Did it make a difference? We have team coverage for you tonight, including ABC 7 News insider Phil Mateer to give us some big picture perspective on this. But first, let's hear from ABC 7 News reporter Leanne Melendez in the newsroom with the results. And what do we expect next, Leanne? Well, you know, Dan, when I spoke to Mayor Breed yesterday about the results of this 90 day state of emergency, she told me, you know, it's not what it should be. We know that, but it's going to get better as we continue the pressure. This wasn't intended to last forever, but more as a first step towards saving the tenderloin. 